Welcome back to the channel, everybody. This is Codations coming at you today with another video on Cookie Run Kingdom. In today's video, it's Latte versus Espresso. That is right. You heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to be breaking down the individual cookies, comparing the two on the battlefield. We're going to be diving into which one is better and or worse. And last but not least, we're going to be tacking in on my personal opinion on the brand new Latte cookie overall. And is she worth summoning for and replacing? You're a leveled up espresso because I know you already got one. So, espresso and latte, you were up to bat. Let's dive right in. Diving right in, ladies and gentlemen. So, with the first thing we're going to be doing is breaking down the individual cookies. I want to read you guys the skills. I really want to try to do the best that I can to explain the difference between the two cookies' abilities and why they are not a direct representation of each individual cookie. And last but not least, we're going to dive into some combat. I'm going to show you guys on the battlefield exactly what I mean by how the two individual cookies are different. And then we'll dive into my opinion as well, explaining what I personally think each cookie is good for. And or am I going to replace my espresso versus my latte cookie? So let's go ahead and dive into espresso's um, kit here. So the first thing we're going to be taking a look at is going to be the grinding ability. So it's going to create a giant whirlwind. It inflicts serial area damage to enemies, pulls them to its center, and then the final burst of damage interrupts skills. Now there's going to be a couple words here that we need to pick out and remember, put them in our memory bank and remember them for when we take a look at latte skills, because this is going to be what really sets the two individual cookies apart and their skills apart. So the first thing is going to be the interrupt. It's going to be a interrupt. If you are interrupting something, the word in the dictionary basically means there is something already existing and then you're going to interrupt that whatever that item is so to give you guys an example if we're going to paint a picture here let's say arena and let's say you're going against another cookie let's say the lily cookie if you don't already know, Lily Cookie turns into like riding a tiger. She jumps across the, the, the enemy lines, instantly stuns the enemies for a short duration, continues to do a lot more damage as she's riding her tiger. The tiger will then eventually phase out. She hops back into her normal cookie form. With that being the case, let's say that's what's happening. You're utilizing Espresso. All of a sudden, Lily Cookie hops over the line, stuns your enemy team. You utilize Espresso's ability. It will instantly, on its final burst of damage, interrupt Lily's skill. So basically that tiger form, it will basically cancel out that tiger form. Lily will go back to being her normal regular cookie. A-OK, -okay, the battle continues to progress. Now, what exactly is going on when it does the final burst? Well, with Espresso's cookie, it is a instant burst damage. So it throws it on the ground. It starts to do a lot of area damage to anybody that is in the realm of the grinding ability. You can see the radius on the ground. Once it drops that, it's going to suck all of those cookies to its center. As it's sucking those cookies or enemies to its center, it's going to be doing damage. And then at the very, very center, basically, once it, the once the skill gets finished, it's going to do that final burst interrupting any skills that are currently going on, and then the skill is over. That's going to be the extent of Espresso's skill. Everybody already knows that. Most people have already built an Espresso and are already utilizing him because he's just really, really good. So let's hop over here to Latte Cookies. Now, some of those, those things, like I said, would be that interrupt that we need to remember when we look at Latte's skill. So this is going to be Conjures a Latte Glyph attracting enemies to its center, dealing damage to those enemies, and silencing them. The glyph remains on the ground, dealing damage over time and greater damage to enemies in its center. All right, so first of, first of all, right away, the number one thing that is completely different, or not completely different, I guess we should do the same. The one thing that's absolutely the same is gonna be it's going to attract enemies. So the moment the glyph is placed on the ground or Espresso's ability is popped off, either one of them is going to attract enemies or suck enemies to the center of that ability. The next thing that's pretty much the same is going to be dealing damage. Both of them are going to do an area effect damage as it's sucking the enemies to the center of the, you know, glyph or the whirlwind, whatever ability you're looking at. As it's sucking the enemies in, it's doing damage to those enemies. Last but not least, here's where the difference is actually going to come into play. Espresso's is an interruption. So the skill has to be already going on when Espresso's skill final burst pops off. It's going to basically silence or, you know, cancel out any ability that is currently already on. Where Lattes is a little bit different, it silences enemies ahead of time, meaning like there is no way that you can utilize skills if you are silenced. 
So this, to me, is going to be very, very good in the arena, in PvP, any sort of, you know, RTA where you are battling, you know, other cookies head to head. You're going off of their skills, that kind of thing. You're trying to counter other cookies skills. This is going to be where Latte Cookie is going to absolutely outshine the rest. And you can already tell that that's going to be 100% true because a lot of the higher tier, um, you know, PvP players are already building Latte Cookie, investing all of the resources into her to get her to that max because she's going to be able to shine like crazy at the top ranks because the ability to have a crowd control, you know, silence, the ability to do dam area of effect damage, the ability to suck in enemies, and last but not least, it's going to stay on the ground. That's going to be the second thing that's different between Expresso's ability, as Expresso's is a one and done. He pops off his ability, he does area of damage as it sucks enemies to its core, does one final explosion, it interrupts any skills that is currently going on, boom, the skill is over, it goes back on cooldown. Latte Cookies is going to be a little bit different it's going to throw the glyph down on the ground suck enemies in doing damage um as they move towards the center doing more damage as they get to the center of that of, of that glyph and last but not least it's going to silence any cookie in that glyph and it's going to linger on the ground to continue to do additional damage just absolutely ridiculous so we've explained the two individual skills i tried doing the best that i could to tell you exactly how they differ let's hop into some combat so i'm going to go ahead and utilize this um, individual node just because it's it's like probably one of the highest ones that I can clear with just Latte Cookie solo. So she's level 27. Again, we don't have a whole lot of invested into her. I just ran out of experience jellies, basically, um, is what it boils down to. And I ran out of skill powder and everything else. So I just could not get her to where I wanted to, to really do a true even apples to apples comparison. But nevertheless, I want this at least gives you guys a breakdown on the individual skills and how they differ between each other. So we're going to go ahead and run this stage. So you can see that we're a little underpowered. We're 16,000. Normally, it says it requires 18,000. So we're going to go ahead and run it. So let's go ahead and dive in here. Now, one key thing that I want to you to, to notice right off of the bat is going to be how the ability lingers and continues to do AOE damage. So as you can see right here, she's going to utilize it on the first wave. She pops it off. It's doing damage. It's sucking enemies to its core. It's silencing those enemies, and then it stays on the ground. Absolutely OP when it comes to, you know, PVP 100%. I'm going to, I have a, I have a feeling, I have a feeling that the, as more people start to pull on this banner, they get Latte Cookie. She's going to take over the arena. That's just my personal opinion but just just check this out here so pop it off boom sucks it into the center as the as the enemy is moving towards the center it's getting more and more damage being dealt to him because it's getting to the center you can see here that it's going to silence those enemies from using any of their abilities and like i said look at that it's still on the screen as she runs by and anything that's in that realm is still doing or still getting taken or geez louise still taking damage from its aoe ability so again like i said that's just going to show you pretty much latte's ability and exactly how it functions here we go this is a nice example boom it does a crap ton of damage to everybody, does the silencing ability, and it still remains. Look at that as the duration on the countdown timer for the turn ends. So again, very, very nice. Let's go ahead and hop out of here really, really quick. I'm going to show you guys. We'll hop over to Espresso, and I want to show you the two comparison when it comes to actually utilizing um, both skills. So let's go ahead um, once this thing loads here. Um, blue stacks, don't fail me, baby. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and swap out our individual cookie so let's go ahead and actually put in espresso here um look at him looking all fresh we're gonna go ahead and do the start button all right so we are a little overpowered even without toppings on him but nevertheless you can at least see the difference in the skills so on 427 this is going to be espresso skills right off of the bat so you can see boom less area of effect he does a lot more damage when it comes to a burst, initial burst damage. So he's going to use Eliza here, right here. Boom, does a lot more damage. That final explosion actually does the most damage, in my opinion. And it's going to interrupt any skills that are currently going on. Like I said, something like Tiger Lilies, something like the Taunt, things like that. Um, you know, it's going to definitely... Um, cancel those out if they are currently going on but you know with pv with pve it's really hard um to to dive into skills that are going to be going on you know repeatedly so again i mean take it for what it's worth but that's going to be the difference you can see nothing remains on the ground he utilizes his abilities he sucks them in and look at that explosion but nothing 
stays. So again, that's going to be the massive difference between the two of them. And not only that, he's only going to interrupt. He does not have a full official silence. He only has that interruption when there is something already currently going on. But that's going to be it, ladies and gentlemen, for the individual video. For my personal opinion, I definitely am investing in Latte Cookie. I definitely think that as we continue to climb the world map here, we can we continue to finish out the story on level eight. We're currently at eight um, 815 right now. So we've got a little ways to go before we actually finish it off. But I feel like once we finish off the story mode, there's not going to be a whole lot left to do besides run things like the arena to climb the arena, you know, ranks to be that number one spotter to be in that top ranking. And with that being the case, I think Latte Cookie is going to be a very good investment for long term. You can see we're already at 37, level 37 with our Espresso. I do kind of hate the fact that they do share the same resources, and I do kind of hate that there is not an ability to reset those individual cookies to really test them and invest in them, but nevertheless, she will be going on my arena team as soon as I get enough resources. But that's going to be it for me, ladies and gentlemen. I love you guys as always. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get notification every time we drop a video, and I will see you guys in the next one.